is such a beautiful day here in Tribeca. Look at that sun. Woo. All right, I'm almost there. onion vinegar, and then the dressing underneath it is reduced coconut milk with a little bit of sugar, and pina cura, which is a spice of Filipino vinegar. Please enjoy that. Oh, and then there are no other options. Cool. And for the wine pairing for this course, um, we are going to Rio spices. Um, right on the Atlanta coast where Spain and Portugal meet. Um, all Alvarino. Um, I love it with this dish, I love Alvarino. It's anything seafood, um, kind of like a beautiful brininess to kind of match the, the fish, and then like some searing acid to kind of touch with the coconut milk. Um, Enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was like our number one selling dish when I was working my own. And the combination was um, a, uh, this lechon express with um, the garlic rice, the thing you got. And so I kind of just was like, why not? Why not sell it works, you know? <laughs> so um, the pork belly is grinding beer. And the lechon, like the uh, Rico express sauce at the bottom, is sort of like a coconut milk chili. 
that's cooked down with aromatics and shrimp paste. And for those who aren't, who are allergic to shrimp paste, um, it would then just be omitted. So you'd be fine. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Um, this is all Syrah, which I love with a uh, little color that I've never played before. Um, it's like crushable, drinkable, I don't know. It's great. 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 This course is purely vegan. Burnt coconut curry is um, uh, scoop out young coconut, scoop out the meat of the coconut, char it up real nicely, and then cook it down in its own its own water, and then mount that with uh, coconut milk and aromatics. There's no shrimp paste in this, um, and then that's topped with palapo, which is a um, uh, crispy crispy mix of like. Coconut, uh, this has sweet coconut, um, what, what, uh, garlic, fried shallots, um, chilies, ginger, just kind of like brings the whole dish together. And then the mix you have of herbs is sweet Thai basil and uh, overgrown cilantro. And then he's gonna tell you about the wine. Yeah, awesome. So the wine is uh, not the one that's listed on the menu. It'll uh, last minute for all the course remakes. Um, but we're, we're drinking um, uh, 2017 Riesling from Alsace. Um, I love it. Riesling ages so beautifully. Um, it's a teensy bit of sweetness to kind of go with the curry. It also has like a little bit of floral lines to kind of match those flavors. Um, so really delicious, delicious butter. I'm obsessed with your food. If anyone wants more garlic bread, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, beef calagoid is just like beef and onions, is the idea here. It's, this is the first dish that I made to get the job as a, as a building on show. And the owner thought that this was, I guess, um, The only thing that was added here separately that wasn't on that original course is a savory palapa. So it's a coconut, another coconut topping, except this one uses lime instead. Of, this one uses lemon instead of lime. And instead of using sweet coconut, I've used um, unsweetened. Awesome. We wear a very classic hair in here, uh, so it's uh, long from Bordeaux. It comes from the Rhode Bank of Bordeaux, um, mostly Merlot, a little bit of Cabernet Franc, very soft and supple, um, with like a nice backbone of the dish. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. When I was in Miami, we were trying to figure, we couldn't make pastries at this outpost, um, so, but we wanted to have a dessert, and we found a pastry chef in Miami to kind of like make us some things, and the best thing that she brought us, that I thought she brought us, was a bolinka, um, and that's what this is, it was like, so it's a, a bolinka is a breakfast pastry that's served in the Philippines, it's usually served with 
cheese and egg, um, just like this. You peel off the banana leaf and then you kind of just eat it. Um, and so this is kind of a very, I'm trying to figure out how to probably make it bingo. Thanks for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just to tell you about the last line, um, this is Muscato Asti. Um, slightly frizzante, that's made from uh, Muscat to Alexandria. Fun fact, that was Kate Lasher's favorite wine. Um, favorite grape, I know why. Um, yeah, it's uh, also another fun fact. I'm, I'm full of these, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your humble wine nerd, just like full of random facts. Um, so think of the sparkling that we drank earlier, that was like bottled under six atmospheric pressures. This one's only bottled under uh, 2.5, so there's a little bit more sweetness to it and like softer bubbles. Um, you can do what you want with that. <coughs> uh, anyway, enjoy. <laughs> So, uh, just so you know, you guys could keep moving back. We all don't gotta stay here. We got like, you know, so y'all can keep moving back. The music is still gonna close in the back room, Jamar. And, uh, outside too. You have to go outside too. You feel me? If you wanna catch the music and all that. Uh, when it's time to leave. Hey, 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 hello, hello, hello. When it's time to leave, this is the important part. This is the important part. When it's time to leave, bring the corner nonsense like this. And y'all gonna line up with y'all cheese, alright? So,
you for the rest of the tour, okay? Now, I ain't never got a roll on the stage. Talk to them, all right? How y'all feeling? Y'all ready to turn up a little bit? I got three more songs for you to the amazing Amber Mark. Who's ready to see Amber? Y'all better make some noise. Because I see the ones that don't, and I'm telling her when I go backstage that y'all didn't make no noise. So she's going to remember, okay? So the next couple songs, we need to really turn up until we get warmed up from Amber. Y'all ready? Right, this next song, I need a little, I just need this, okay? You don't need no rhythm. You don't gotta be on beat. You just need good knees, you know? If you don't got good knees, give me an elbow. You know? If you ain't got arms, fill it in your heart. Okay? Everybody's involved in this. Y'all ready? Let's get it. I need a little music in the house. One of my personal favorites off the album, and it came pretty late into the album process. You know, we already started mixing. You know, it was 2020, shit was going down, the whole thing. And I just felt like I started asking all these really intense questions during that year. Like, what is the meaning of life? What are we doing? Floating on a muddy rock in the middle of the universe? All these really intense, like, philosophical questions, like the balance between life and death and suffering. And you know what, I'm not gonna like bore you guys three more hours talking about this shit. This ain't a TED talk. <laughs> I'm gonna need a joint if we're gonna be doing that, so. That's right to the show. Instead, I'm just gonna play the song for you. It's one of my personal favorites. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you know the lyrics, you're gonna sing it. <laughs> 